All right. <laughs> Get out of my head. Did you see the new Conjun House? No, I didn't. You didn't? It's 15 seconds long. You can, <laughs> you can see it now. I mean, I'll wait until after this run. It's really good. But yeah, there's big news today. Is there? Not? Yeah, big news in the gaming realm. Everyone's excited. They're finally bringing the How to Train Your Dragon trilogy to the PS4. And there have been rumors about this for a while, but yeah. it's nice to have it finally confirmed. It was a wee bit obvious once like the Crash one sold so well, because Activision are a very predictable beast. So, next is... Uh, what's it called? Probably... X and Wrong. Actually, no, that's a good one. Hold on. I thought you were going to give a serious answer. No. You didn't. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, hold on. I can get on board with this. <laughs> and he still makes the same dated references. <laughs> exactly. Either that or they update them, and that's like, oh, that that would be great. Nothing, like, graphically has changed oh, at God. all. Oh, God. He would, he would say me. He would just... And that would make me want to die. <laughs> Yes, this is, this is perfect. You know, uh, Ape Escape, that's what I was thinking of. I was like, Monkey Mayhem? I, you know, the, <laughs> which is a great alternate title. I don't know how I thought about that, but. The only Ape Escape thing I've ever, like, experienced was the Ape Escape bonus levels in Metal Gear Solid 3. Is that the one where he's, like, showing his ass with the monkeys from Ape Escape? I've seen that picture around. That is something you can do, yes. I can give the most ambitious crossover of all time meme. Yeah. It's fucking funny though, because they, they, before you enter the mode, there's a like, in character Kodak call and everything where they, the commander is shouting at Snake to get off the cage and to go capture some monkeys in the forest. And Snake is just like, why do I have to do this? Get someone else. I don't want to do it. Do you know the plot for Ape Escape? No. It's really good. Also, yes, no, well, you can play this. Yep. You have to watch the opening cutscene. It's so... It's just that... Just that alone is so good, and then the cutscenes throughout are hilarious. <laughs> it's something about a professor, from what I know from Metal Gear Solid 3. You know, that actually... That is it. I didn't even realize. That means you haven't played Ape Escape. No. I mean, it's not that surprising, I guess. I'm just like, Gavin... Sony... He has to have a lot of fucking games, man, all right? Gavin, Sony... He's played them all. Just the assumption. Like, it had a fuck ton of games. That console was a godsend of a creature. God bless it. Wasn't as good as the Nintendo Wii. It was better. The Nintendo Wii had M&M's Beach Party or whatever. Fuck. How many M&M's games did the Sony PlayStation 2 have? At least three. Okay, that's good. There was a lot of Wii shovelware, was actually just PS2 shovelware ported up. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm not even kidding, like, a lot of it was just PS2 games just re-released. Am I the only one doing damage here? Uh-oh! I'm being chased, so I can't because I have the ruler. Oh lord, come on! The squipper! Did you guys see that? No. I, I charged two shots, I didn't hit the dude. We hit in the room, so the bell can get in. I charged two shots to hit someone far away. It didn't work. There was a grower coming. Someone revived right next to me. I shot three times. Like, you know, the pew, pew, pew. it didn't hit yeah. them, and we lost. So. Oh, well. I'm mad. You just hit the button immediately. Oh. I just told you the way it. Well, I was thinking about what to talk about next. Not that. I literally two seconds. It's okay, he's probably not even ready. He has to mash through the... He is. <laughs> ...with thing. Oh my god. You know, the news broadcast. We're saving time this way. I should be in charge of the Don't you, rooms. don't you know, Gavin? No, if you're in charge I of the rooms, we'll never get anything room. done. I need to, I need to get this stream done by seven. Optimally. Why? Because Mike Panutes is going to be streaming his annual Nuzlocke. And I can't miss that. 
I have to see if the starter is going to be Spiel again. So I'm not risking anything. The spot fast is silly, yes. Yeah, that's the thing. We already talked about that last time. Yeah, I'm not leaving for loops until like... Uh... Like... Late Saturday, anyways, if that, so... So... Uh, if you stream that, I should actually be able to see it. Hey. Didn't do the purple coins. I was I should have done them last night. I'm just like that's too much work though. There's Mario. It would be yeah, a, a bit too nuts even by your standards to note where all of them are and what. No no no. I mean I'm gonna do it. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's that's for sure. That's confirmed. But uh, it's just like you know when something's a lot of work, you procrastinate it. Super Mario Odyssey <laughs> got like three new world records in the past week. Any percent, which is cool. weapon set is absolutely hideously unsuited to this. And I watched some of the runs, and it makes it just makes me angry because <laughs> some of the runners have face cams, and you can see yeah. them shaking, and it just makes me mad. It makes me mad that they have to do that. They don't deserve that. No one deserves that. I'll keep him fit. It will not. We've already established that's a detriment to at least three people's health. So. Wrong. When are you gonna do Koopa Free Running? Never. You did a bit of Seaside, but that's for babies. You did the baby and version. And that's exactly why I'm not gonna do it. Because <laughs> the moment I try to do anything, you will belittle me no matter what I do or say. You gotta do, uh, Cap Kingdom. That I one don't is, gotta do shit. That one is hell. And also, I don't wanna do it because, like, every, like it just changes so much and it's all just following someone else's path until you just happen to do it. <laughs> it's kinda, yeah. Not too interested. Besides, like the moment I get any sort of score, you'll just like immediately like go nuts and try and break it like within a day. So, well, <laughs> if I can, my time my time is limited. If I can't do it within an hour, I can't do it in a day. I don't know, man. You you will slip over. You use near time. You'll one expand your one near hour time. and ten minutes. Lot, That's the longest. That got in the way. That actually got in the way. Why? Should we be able to throw a grenade at the torpedo and then it gets knocked away? Why is one glob of ink suddenly knock it away, but tossing a grenade at it at like, you know, 500 miles per hour do nothing? It's a grenade, it's huge. That is the explosion huge. Anything else on the agenda? Spyro's probably gonna be neat. Uh, I hate... I hate... The DreamWorks face. Yeah. So much. I hate it. I had it originally, so... I, hate, I know, and I hate it. I didn't know, because I was never into Spyro. I tried watching Carl play it, like, ten years ago. Because that was his thing, like, ten years ago. I was never, never too interested. I don't even know what you do in that game. You just platform through levels, it's like... Basically like a prototype Ratchet and Clank in many ways, actually. Ratchet and Clank can glide? Actually, yeah. That's like all Spyro does. I mean, glide, breathe, fire, run, platform. Solve puzzles, beat time trial challenges, a whole so many challenges. He looks, he looks too horizontal. You know? I don't know. He like he like glides. He runs to the side really quickly. He doesn't. I never see him go up. I want to see him go up. Go up, Spyro. Well, I mean, 
part of the reason is that it was originally, the first two games at least, were designed around the original PS1 controller. Oh, my favorite! Sticks. So there was not a lot of verticality they could do in 3D because they didn't have analog sticks. And <laughs> no camera control. Freedom of 3D movement. But yeah, uh, there was no camera control. You had to, you couldn't look up or down while moving. You couldn't like, move the camera up or down while moving, and you had to control the camera with L1 and R1. So you know. It sounds like the perfect it's opportunity a... to. Uh, but as good as that. Not add camera controls into the remaster. They're talking about like redoing controls and assaults and people shitting themselves going, Oh, they're gonna fuck it. It's like, no, they're gonna actually make it playable. Here's what we do. We... Just... Change the entire game. As if there were camera controls back in the 90s. And call it a remaster and people will love it. I mean, that's all they have to do, right? The games are otherwise pretty fun, so... I mean, for one thing, they were actually designed around that, like, absolutely dumbass, no camera control shit, so... It's just the... Also, when you get into this room, like, take your hands off I, the Did controller. you not hear that sound? I didn't know it was you putting it down. I just heard a sound. That's it. Yeah, Spyro was fun. It was good stuff. Never did play any of the reboot shit. Everyone's glad that, uh... Gremlin Spyro is no longer a thing. Yeah, because that was an absolute affront to like any sort of sense of the aesthetics. I don't know, the remasters themselves are cool, but I think that the more exciting prospect is maybe these games will get new games as a result. Uh, no? You don't think so? You think they're just gonna yeah, remaster for the quick pocket? I don't think so under Activision though. No. Because they can't turn it into a service where they can pump microtransactions. Sure, in. they can. And it's multiplayer maps. Don't you like calling so. gems in Spyro? I mean, that's like saying I'll well, just pay like real money to get like Triforce pieces and stars and shit. Well, in Odyssey, <laughs> you can buy moons, so. Yeah, but what? In game money, not with actual money. Look, it's not that hard to just put in a little credit card thing and you can buy coins. That's what Luigi should have done. He should have been a banker with that bow tie. But, um, what was I gonna say? Spyro. I mean, like, Crash might, because it seems that Sony have some sway there. It seems like it was a very Sony fronted endeavor because they were teasing it two years ahead of time. In, like, their various adverts, there was, like, little hidden Crash, like, billboards and shit. Which was funny. Um, but outside of that, I don't see it happening, at least definitely not happening for Spyro. Well, what if Spyro remaster is a huge hit? I think even then, you probably won't see like, a new Spyro platform, because they'll probably be like, ah, oh, well, that stuff's not a remaster money. Because everyone loves Spyro. You might get HD remasters of the reboot games, but that's about it. What does Spyro sound like? It's sound like a guy, honestly. It's just kind of like... Yeah, I'm a guy. Nothing like, uh, you know, Cappy! Nothing like that? No. Okay, just making... No, no, no. It was, just, it, was just, uh, it was a proper voice actor. He just sounded like some guy. Just making sure. Because you know who else makes the DreamWorks face? Cappy. I hate Cappy! I hate him! Die! Okay. Sorry. All right. That was actually something like that Sonic were good at, was picking voice actors. Like, Ratchet's voice actor was, like, fucking spot on for whatever the character was. And then they binned him for some dumbass celebrity piece of shit for the reboot, and who sounds like a complete another waste. You should have gone, HELP! So. <gasps> That's how they can improve this game! Which game? This game. Every right. time the squids say help, it's like going like, wah, 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 or whatever the fuck they do in their stupid squid vocal language. They can instead go, just like the gingers and banjo. Perfect. Mm. If this game ever gets modding support, that's the only thing I'm ever gonna try to do. This do Splatoon mod, I'm sure that is mod shit there. Man. Yeah, the Wii, ever like everything on the Wii U does, right? I don't know about everything, but like a lot of stuff will shoot. Mm. There's probably like some games where it's like bastards and nice. can't easily do it. 
At least the modding tools are there. Oh, he does use both of those stingrays. Oh, this shit, he it's didn't okay. need to. It's okay, it's Well, actually, the, uh, the sniper far on the grates was alright. Because you do waste a lot of time going over there to kill that. God, I love that sound. But yeah, the Spire thing's pretty cool, except the box art. Nah, I mean, box art was always gonna be kinda weird. I know, but die, Spyro. Your stupid face. Also, it was weird, because this morning I was, like, looking at the screenshots, and I'm like, something about him doesn't look right. I think it was mostly the chest plate or something. He does like, he doesn't look like he has... Like, he doesn't look scaly. He's, it's obvious he's supposed to look scaly, but, like... I mean, to be honest, like, in the PS1 days, he never really looks scaly either. I mean, but that's in the PS1 days. Nothing, like... Yeah, but that's the thing. They're copying that ES there. Nothing looked like anything in the PS1 days. <laughs> that's distinctly not true. Ow. Lara Croft's tits look like a pair of pyramids. It's very, very fitting for the series. It's because it's all about reading tombs. Because you're just proving my point. Are you implying that the pyramids are tombs? It's yeah. fiction mumbo jumbo. That's actually not. They find tombs and pyramids. <laughs> Why is she raiding tombs anyways? It's very disrespectful. Because she is a rich British woman that has nothing better to do for time or money. Why can Lara Croft get away with uh, grave robbery, but I can't? Because she's rich. Up high over here. Which means it's, oh, it's also that one. Was she rich in the old games? Yep. She didn't look rich. Yeah. She had a whole fucking mansion, man. She looks rich in that one movie. She doesn't look rich in uh, the games, though. She looks poor. I, I don't know what part of the big, like, sweet ass mansion and her explicitly talking a posh accent about her Oxford University education and her rich family no, isn't rich. Posh but... accent at. Yep. One, I don't even know what the measurement for volume is. All of her line. <laughs> what was it? No, 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 not that. I mean, what, what's hurt? Is it hurts? Audio, the decibels? measurement for audio quality. Decibels? No, decibels is volume. Audio quality? I don't know. But the, I, like, the lowest possible quality? Actually, no, like, it was CD audio quality, so it was actually pretty good. What, are you telling me that it was on a CD? It was on the PlayStation 1. Back man. in those days, we had VCRs. Were there any games on VCRs, actually? No, but there were some, there were some on, like, audio cassette tapes and shit. And then you had stuff like, you know, like the Neo Geo, which was just an arcade cabinet. You would, and the cartridges for it were literally just arcade boards and giant plastic bricks you just slug, slugged into it. It's fucking amazing. You gotta kill a man with one of those cartridges. You know Gavin's a retro gamer, for real. <laughs> Can label the salmon run under talk shows. What does that mean? What do you mean? <laughs> like, what do you mean label it? Like, well actually there's technically a game label on Twitch called, like, Talk shows, I think, but you know, I, I guess. Now imagine it's for actual talk shows and not playing a game in the back. Yeah, just as a descriptor, you know. Uh. <coughs> yeah, Battle Block. It uh, is not that. No. No. I know a no. Do you know? I mean, not personally, but. <laughs> Alright, now that the garage is done. I wonder about Spyro. Isn't Spyro a collectathon? Or something? More or less, yeah. Like, the way it was the model of platformer for the time. Like so, yeah. PS2 banjo? One? PS1 banjo? Uh, kinda, yeah. Because I kind of remember that aspect of it. Yeah, that is, yeah, that's actually not. That's actually a pretty accurate thing. Like Spyro 2 especially had that sort of 
hub world shit going on. I was like, it didn't really look as fun as Banjo, but maybe that's because I was younger. I would argue, like, Banjo was the better game, I'd say, because it was, like, better mid and, like, run better wow. and, like, look better and all that. You can't say that. But Spyro was actually, like, it wasn't bad or anything, it was actually pretty fun. Spyro 2 is my favorite of the bunch. You know it well. To be honest, like, I would, because, like, sometimes, like, PlayStation 1 emulation is a piece of shit, and, like, getting the correct BIOS That's and fun. shit like that. I didn't even know it was a thing, despite it being, like, one of those ancient it, It's, it's a time. thing. It's, like, it's a thing, and it's, I was actually had, like, a, an easier time of it than N64 emulation has. But sometimes it's just, like, you have to get a working ISO, and, like, the emulators need, like, certain BIOSes, and every time I put them in, sometimes it just wouldn't fucking work no matter what. Are you sure about that one point? Because, like, Mario Party emulation isn't that hard, from my experience. Mario Party emulation, yeah. You know how hard it is to emulate other games, though? Like, it depends what the game did with the hardware. Paper Mario also wasn't that bad. I mean, again, it depends what the thing did with the hardware. Why is it that... I, I think it's just that you can only emulate Nintendo games. Is that... I think that's it. I mean, part of it is, is Canada, because, like, Sony's architecture was absolute shite for a lot of their stuff. You know, like, if there's ever, like, a PS3 emulator, it will take, like, a 20-core processor just to emulate the fucking cell. <laughs> the, uh... What's it? The Switch is going to have emulated games before the PS2 is. I mean, the PS2 has that nigh, and it's all right. Like you can do it for like a fair amount of games that run fine. Some of the fancier or the beefier or more specialized ones are like are a bit shaky. But like you can like emulate quite a lot of them with fair amount of ease. With relative ease. Like in theory, I think I remember seeing people try to make it work. Was like, because it ran on DVDs, you could just put it into your computer, like your disc in your computer drive, and just run it on the emulator. But I don't know if anyone ever got that working. Oh yeah, uh, that that was actually a thing. Uh, there was the PS2 emulator that I wanted to emulate Ribbit King on instead of buying a whole PS2 and a whole Ribbit King mm. for PS2 to play it. And then the yeah. PS2 emulator told me that. If, uh, or that I need the disc, like the ISO or the disc itself. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I guess. You have to tell me what that is, because if it works, I could just put my PS2 against into my computer and we're fucking away. I think it's like, uh. Oh, I don't know what it's called, but. Uh, I, th I think it was, it was like. Because it's, it, it said something about, like, you know, anti pirates, piracy or whatever. I, that's probably not the case at all. They probably yeah. just can't or don't have, like, have the thing to make it just have ISOs. I mean, they're not allowed to package ISOs with it. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, well, with, like, with legality, because of the legality of it, especially in Europe, they're actually, like, if you have the game, you're allowed to have the ISO by law. Like, that's just allowed. But they're not allowed to package ISOs with the, like, the emulator or anything. What if I own a game, but someone else is in custody of it? That's still fine. <laughs> but we, I guess, we don't know if it'll, 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 we'll get it back. Like, anything can happen. Uh, yeah, Biggs, you can join us. You gotta be quick, though. <laughs> <laughs> don't. There's no end of the goddamn taxis. Oh, we need one up. There we go. Um, someone died. No, oh, didn't let me shoot in time. Yeah, if that if I can get that to go, that would be fucking like, really nice. I need I I need a capture card that works with uh, old shit that doesn't use HDMI because I hate my current one. <laughs> the Elgato or no, oh, the the Elgato doesn't do that. Wait, well actually, my old does. the old one 
I don't even know yeah. if I use the old one. What, what do I use? I have the old one. But, uh... Yeah, I, I, I want to ask people, but no one will answer me. So, I don't know where to go. I don't know where I mean, to go. Like the, the main tier, like Elgato and that Avermedia one. Because that Avermedia one's used for a lot of like old hardware at the GDQs. So it's probably a good catch-all. Yeah, I just need to be good quality and not like blurry and stupid. And Optimally I mean, not require a box. Where I plug in if you want it to be like not shit. like asshole on your TV, I mean I don't think anything can like properly upscale any of it beyond doing it on the hardware itself. So like, like it's always gonna look a bit like a blurry asshole if you're gonna play it on a big TV. I mean now like like there are games that or there are like streams and stuff of old games that look fine that aren't on emulator. And that I want I mean, that kind of quality. Hardware. Uh, the Elgato, oh, like on the PS2, like its recording looks fine, but like on the TV, it is a bit stretched. Thought that was a moss. <laughs> oh, I'm just completely out of ink, and it won't let me get any more. Yeah. I think Spyro's coming to Switch. Apparently it is, because Nintendo's UK's website put a listing up for it. Yeah. <laughs> so, never really any doubt of that, honestly. But people are like, after the crash one suddenly came to Switch and I regret buying it on PS4 for some reason. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for it on Switch, if it comes out on Switch. Well, you like, for some reason, for buying it on PS4? No, for or... some reason, like, wanting to buy it on Switch instead of PS4, especially if they're a streamer, and they're almost definitely gonna stream it from their television yeah. in the dock mode. Like... It's, yeah, if that's the case, it is kind of like, what's the difference, really? I don't know, maybe it's just Nintendo gets the money instead of Sony. Fuck you, Sony. I mean, if that's the preference you consider, that's kind of like... I mean, alright. It's not like somebody's gonna get a lot of much, like maybe a bit of a licensing fee, but that's about it. Maybe if Sony made a visible power button, I would buy more on their PlayStation Store. Uh, one more egg <coughs> required. Yep. Oh, it's high there? That means... Yeah. Find him. Just gonna get one in. <laughs> yeah, anything, you know, was. anything could happen in 12 seconds. Like, that suddenly a mob could be blocking you because you waited too long. Yeah. And then, uh, death. Alright, put your controller down again. I refuse this time. I only do things of my own free will. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But <laughs> it should be good. I uh, don't know what else to talk about. Spider-Man? Mm. Did we talk about Spider-Man? You mentioned it in your Mario Odyssey stream. Oh, right, yeah. There aren't going to be pizza missions, so I'm not buying it anymore. It's going to be 30 frames per second on both regular and pro no, PS4s, not. which is just kind of... Yes, no, it is. it's not. They no, it is. They confirmed mm, it. Not, not, mm, no, I, don't, I don't know about that. I mean, Why okay, it's probably now? gonna be like, what? Z, when the room is filled, it says it turns green, goes battle time, and it's ZR instead of ZL. Nah. Fuck you, Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, it's probably gonna be just like I know you didn't make like a performance joke, but it, it probably is. It's gonna be a hard thirty. <laughs> like what? Uh, what, what modern game like that runs at thirty FPS? 
besides Kirby, which all, may have been besides, shoveled like, out. Besides, like, literally all of them that aren't, like, actually made by good devs. Was Sp Spidey Man not made by good developers? No, it's made by Insomniac or shit. I thought that those were good guys. They used to be, and then, you know, like, they decided, hey, we're just gonna, like, you know, go make shit games, and they did. Like what? Sunset Overdrive, use... Is Sunset Overdrive bad? Yeah. I remember on the E3 that was announced, a lot of people were saying that was the only interesting looking game in the entire conference. Because it was the only one that had any color in it. Yeah, it was, it was Microsoft. It was, a, it was a woeful, <laughs> yeah, it was a woeful experience, so... I was gonna say! It, it has color, but it is a woeful experience. Like, it is like it tries to be a funny comedy game, but the, it's very it's like it feels like it's written by robots that don't do not understand any sort of like how our comedy works, how our laughter works, how our people work, anything. I hate the protagonist how the protagonist looks in that down there. Yeah, because it was designed by a forty year old man who does do things that what kids like and think looks cool. Where is I it? I don't know. I've hit like every fucking one of these. I thought people of were still uh, shooting things. We are not making this. We might make this. But that created seven. Is that six? Nah, hold on. No. We need to get them all in like an eye. There's enough. Go! Novell, why did you sh Okay, we're good. I was too busy looking at Novell, then not the number. Why'd you shoot? Swim! <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> at least we have people who understand what respect is in this. Guaranteed. The enemies have to get like a little closer. You guys deal with that over there. I'm gonna ink over here, I guess. Alright, I can reach that, right? Oh shit, no, I can't. It's over. Yeah, the Summer Games Done Quickly games list was finally released. It looks like a very standard list. It, it wasn't very impressive. The Sonic block is only an hour and 30 minutes, I think, as well, which... And I'm, I'm fine with stuff like that. It doesn't need to be like, we don't need to have like blocks that are here that the same franchises over and over again. It's fine. It's, so it's Sonic, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird. But they fucking said it was gonna be, you know, yesterday, April 4th. And then they released it like literally at the very end, it's like probably because there's like some like last minute technical difficulties in making the list work on the website. Yeah, they were making a joke out of it, which was good. I like that at least. But I'm like, guys, everyone's dying. Everyone I know is dying about this. We need list. one more egg in. I have it on there. Okay. Like I'm not, I'm not even uh, gonna watch it. But yeah, the, I was like getting in on that list hype. I mean, it looks like it's probably going to be a, a perfectly fine and serviceable event and all that, but like... I think of, like, the most games ever were submitted for that GDQ, which is in interesting. I did the math, it was over 77 days of, uh, declined runs. So, I'm gonna go peep <laughs> that GDQ. <laughs> When are you gonna make your GDQ debut? My what? Uh, what? GDQ debut? Yeah, I'm more game will be When I start speedrunning Ribbit King? <laughs> you should. Sure? It can't be like that hard. Uh, for Ribbit King, you probably just need like this, you know, to know the optimal pathing and then just hope you get like the weather right or whatever. Yeah, there's no weather in Ribbit King. Story at least. Is it not? Okay. You can, like, 
Not not in story, but you can turn wind on to wind. Yeah, wind on. You can turn wind on in multiplayer, and uh, okay. I never do. But really, yeah, it's just like that. But then there are also things that I'd be interested in looking into, like clipping through walls, which is something you did. Yeah, I remember that. So I wonder if there would be ball clips or something. I know there are like two people that have speed ran that. That's curious to me. I mean, like, the most recent one I saw was in February, though. That's still pretty recent. I guess so, but like, for like, runs, not like, the record. Like, when the record was like, oh like the last run. I'd be, I'm, I'm scared to, uh... Please let me up. At least we got the To ask about would not stuff. Let me <laughs> If I ever do do it. They'll, they'll tell you, it's not like they care. I know, but if I ever do do it. Like, one day I'll get serious about Rivet King. That reminds me, I got something in the works, but I'm keeping it on the down low. I see. It's not Rivet King related, but... But it's really the something. First, the thing fucking has to arrive and then not get confiscated or lost or something. Because it's from Japan. And as you know, anything shipped from Japan is dangerous. Who would confiscate it? My, pa my parents, my mom, I guess. Uh, pisses me off, but... <laughs> I bought it off of eBay, so I don't even have a tracking thing. So I don't even know if like I need to sign for it because it's from Japan, and then I missed the sign thing because I was walking dogs, and then it's just sitting in the mail post office yeah so that's something that's stressing me out but <laughs> it's funny now because anytime like my mom sees like anything with, like japanese letters on it she goes like gavin and just throws it in my room and says here it is i wish that was my mom but no oh you know what that reminds me though uh they're releasing a mercy figure like full-on figure not the ugly nendo yeah i'm kind of tempted to buy it even if i don't play overwatch yeah. I don't know why you start these games and then never touch them again. Oh, Overwatch is a very specific case. Where I feel like I should be competent at it because I played TF2, but it has the MOBA elements that I always forget about, so I'm not good. And it doesn't Mercy doesn't have an Uber charge. That's a problem. I mean I feel like that should be Welcome, so it's not ex exactly one of them existing here. <laughs> Basically, I want to just play TF2 again. So just play TF2? No, I can't. There's actually uh, someone... Someone who played... So, like, one of my friends who plays TF2. And, uh... The problem is, every time I go to peep, like, what map they're playing on or something, so I can ask to join, it's always on 2 Fort. Yeah. <laughs> and 2 Fort is the worst map in the game. I, uh, I you just gonna have to nope, bite that I'm bullet, not buying, I'm not buying that bullet. I would sooner not play TF2 than play on 2 Fort. So, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for him to play on another map and then... Yeah, do that. And then be like, hey, would you mind if I joined you? Cause TF2 has like, parties now, isn't it? Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't know what that chat message means. 250 plus hours playing as Mercy. I am bad person had have 250 plus. <laughs> he is a bad person for playing Mercy for 250 plus hours. That sounds like an only 250 hours thing though, doesn't it? Or something? But then, it's not like TF2, where there's only one medic and the medic is the most important class in the game, undebatably. So, like, you know, you could feel bad for not playing as Medic, but, like, you could play as, uh... Uh, what are the other healers in that fucking game? Lucio, you could play as Ugly, Zenyatta. Lady. Yeah, you could play as Zenyatta. You could play as Flail Girl now. So... Yeah, nothing to be ashamed of for not playing Mercy. In that regard.
Honestly, I don't believe in like just being ashamed of playing as a character. Actually, you know what? Yeah, 250 hours is actually a lot. I, <laughs> I'm just used to everyone being like having like 20 stars on their profile whenever I see like them screenshot their Overwatch games and shit. So it's like, oh yeah, 250 mm. hours is like the entry point. Like in Dota. Because Overwatch fans are fucking insane. It's almost like they have a fun game. I right? know! It's insane! <laughs> I wish I could commit to any one game for that long, because it sounds like it would be great. But I'm sure you can. I'm also like a beast who just gives it. like... I mean, like any individual game, sure. Like I played Demon's Souls for 232 hours in my first CF up. But... Like... I mean, like, my multiplayer game, I could commit that long to. You don't know it, but you've probably already played, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes for over 1,000 hours. I mean, probably. And half of it is inventory management or something? No, I don't do a lot of that, actually. You've reached a hero limit. I've never actually hit that. Let me look at, uh, all the... I mean, look at all the skills everyone has before I discard them in case it's a skill I might need in five years. <laughs> I hate. I just know it off. I hate that. To be honest, like I'm not. It's, I'm actually kind of like at the tilting point where a lot of them are actually the units I've built to make. Are we gonna make up like the general majority? Or units I am currently trying to build. I'm making up the majority of stuff I have. It's better than Puyo Quest because all the level up materials are not in the inventory and have to be removed and shit. Yeah. And also, no, neither of the evolved materials, at least in that sense, Fire Emblem Heroes is a bit more refined. <laughs> <laughs> at least there's only like one, like basically there's two evolved materials, and you can just like. One is readily available at all times for just treating units. The other one's just, I uh, just build it up over time. Yeah, Fire Emblem Heroes has two events, and one of them is just significantly worse than the other one. I mean, it has more than two events. Like, the voting, those aren't events. Those are events. Not big, big ol' events. That give you a lot of shit, and everyone looks forward to them. I mean, I look forward to Grand Hero battles. So. Those events? I thought those were just special maps, yeah, I mean, not full-on events. They are, like they are events. It's like saying a special time to come fight this fucker thing. Each gotchas are events. I mean, after a fashion, yeah, but it's not quite the same. It's like you know, any of any like Puyo Quest events. It's the same sort of thing as that. It's just fight the boss. It's a bit more big. Either way, voting goal looks pretty boring. So you can only play it once every 30 minutes and you don't even get that much out of it. I like the other one better. I mean, you do get fairly big clumps of failures if you win, so... It's worth doing. Even then, I don't think that's true. I think that's just if you participate a lot. You probably get no, more I mean, if you are losing because then you actually get more points individually. Because of multipliers, right? I mean, yeah, but like, I mean, when you win, like, you get like basically like 2,000 feathers. That's a lot. It's, I mean, considering like outside events, the only army and way to get feathers is like, what, like roughly 5,000 for performing high in arena every five days. So like two like you know two thousand plus two thousand plus two thousand plus in the span of a week. Sorry, Gavin. I can't get the overpowered characters with feathers though. What do you Talk about four. <laughs> Either way, Fire Emblem Heroes again. Problem. <laughs> I gotta stop what? playing that fucking game. I gotta stop playing both of those games. I've stopped playing for you, so I had to stop and turn it on. And you just... no, no one's actually here to pick these ones up. How about that? Forgot we aren't playing with fucking vultures. Uh, 
that sniper has to go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, I don't know what a silver reporter means. Probably that he's ranked silver in the Overwatch. Nah, what, competitive? Probably. Yeah, that's different from Borders. Borders is like levels. It's like you get uh, like bronze border when you prestige once, and then like silver when you prestige twice, yeah, and then when you... There you go then. He's, he's played enough to prestige twice. Well, I don't know if that's it though. If it's twice, that was just an example. Well, he's prestige however many times to get silver. I know, but I don't know how much that is. <laughs> you know? Probably, probably a fuck ton. I mean, usually, like, prestiging in a game even once is like. a few hundred hours sometimes. As in the game. He's over level 600. There, yeah, there you go. It is. He's just he's played a fuck ton of time. Yeah, silver isn't even close to two. What even comes before it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we talked about how much I hate Overwatch's uh, competitive tiers, right? Like so. Diamond comes after Grandmaster, it's like, okay, uh, oh, your right, Grandmaster yeah. would be the highest rank because you're the Grandmaster at the game. Not only are you the master, but there's also another adjective, there's an adjective that's the word Grand before the word Master. Doesn't get any higher than that? Oh, it does. Some stupid metal that no one even knows about. Oh, you Diamond's know what? Not a metal. They, well, they know, they only know about it because of video games. I'm pretty sure people know what a diamond is about playing video games. Oh, I mean platinum. Did I say diamond? You, mean, you said diamond. Oh, I'm kind of like, that's not I a know. metal, what do you want to play? It's a rock. <laughs> <laughs> platinum is actually so popular high up in ranks and stuff in games because it's named after Platinum Games, the company responsible for every good game on the market. Yeah, actually. It's pretty accurate. They made Super Mario Odyssey. Nah, that's they not made a good Ribbit thing. King. Nah, that's not a they good made <laughs> Paper Mario. They made a hat in time. I mean listening to you, Odyssey's not a good game. They made Spyro. It's not a ten out of ten. It's not a ten out of ten, Gavin. Doesn't sound like a 7 out of 10 or even a 5 out of 10 either when you're going. Which not only is a true statement that I truly believe, but it's also a reference to that video Gavin hates. <laughs> I hate that video because the person who made it is a complete tit, so. That's my favorite. I mean, without motion controls, it would be a 10 out of 10. I was thinking about it. I want to. I want to start a full-blown investigation on Super Mario Odyssey. How do you mean? Like, could it feasibly still have all the moves it possible in it, and uh, and still I mean, two extra move buttons? So probably, yeah. But sometimes you need the extra buttons. Like, I didn't know that. That's, that's why you just restructure the fucking controls game. All right. That's why I want to do a full-blown investigation, because I would have to do that, essentially. Write your video essay. Do that. Also, are you for real? This taxi fuck off. Please, there are two of them. The moss is right there. Kill the moss next to the basket. Flying fucker got me, okay. Top 500 shouldn't be called. Well, actually, you know what? I respect that. But if they're gonna have a tier called Grandmaster, Top 500 should be called Grandmaster. I like. I. You know no, what they should do? No, they should no, just no, no, no. have Top 500, Top. You know, one thousand. No, top, top 10 should be Grandmaster. Top 10. Like, they're, they're like 10 people per single team. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The team with the one team of Grandmasters, best in the game. That's how it works. It should be how it works. It's like how there's only like a grand total of like eight Tetris Grandmasters in the world. <laughs> Not if you play. Have you been on Booyah Booyah Tetris online? 
don't know about nah, that. Man, they, they don't even come near the ranks of Grandmasters. That's that's the scary thing. <laughs> like the, the demons you fight on there aren't even the absolute best. Do you think there are people out there that think like TAS bot at GDQ is actually a robot that plays the game instead of someone else? Who is an actual yeah. human being putting in inputs painstakingly? I mean, it's more that they already put in the inputs and they're just making it playback. Yeah, I know. But, like, they, they had to spend that time putting in the inputs to make it work, right? Yeah. I mean, in a sense, it is the robot because the robot's just yeah, the playing robot the robot is the playing the inputs, but I mean, like, <laughs> if you just put a robot in front of a video game. Like, you know, it couldn't really I mean, like, yeah, some 10 year old probably plays that, yeah. I don't know. There are probably a lot of 10 year olds at GDQs. And probably, but. Alright, let's do Battle Block. Yeah. Let's check on some shit. Thank you for playing with us, Novell and Biggs. Oh, watch it's not I'm going to seize Novell from us. Alright. The question is, will Novell be there when we just so happen to play Overwatch again? <laughs> the mystery time. Alright, get